What's good, YouTube? It is your boy, Big Cool, coming to you from Colossal Sports TV. And I am back with another video. It's looking like we could potentially see not just a second fight between Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury, but a third and fourth fight between these two gigantic heavyweight champions. Yes, champions. I know people don't really still recognize Tyson Fury as the lineal heavyweight champion, but he is that guy, and I'll just give him that. Now, we all know both of these guys got business to take care of in September, in, in a couple weeks, respectively. Wilder just knocked out Dominic Brazil in highlight real fashion, one punch knockout in the first round on May 18th, where he defended his WBC heavyweight title for the ninth consecutive time. Now he will be taking on a familiar foe when he steps in the ring against Luis Ortiz. We all know these two men gave us a thrilling fight of the year candidate bout back last year in March, where it seemed that Deontay Wilder was on the verge of getting knocked the fuck out by Luis Ortiz in that seventh round, but he managed to escape it, not without a little controversy, of course, and come back a few rounds later and score a 10th round TKO stoppage over the Cuban powerful Southpaw Luis Ortiz. As for Tyson Fury, he has a fight against Tom Schwartz June 15th. Uh, this guy is a, a German, he's undefeated. Has a padded record. Hasn't really fought anybody of relevance um, or notoriety. But he's a professional fighter. He has some power. He has some skills. He's confident. He's undefeated. So he doesn't know how to lose. And that is up to Tyson Fury to teach this young man on how to lose. So, assuming both guys get by their upcoming fights, then we will see these two men meet in a rematch at the top of 2020 and this is a highly anticipated fight many people myself included felt that tyson fury clearly won um their first fight but thanks to two knockdowns from the bronze bomber wilder was able to escape with a draw and thus remaining with his wbc heavyweight title now with anthony joshua biting the dust last weekend against Andy Ruiz, losing his unified titles. Um, he is on the back burner right now. And Andy Ruiz is on the back burner right now due to a con contractual, excuse me, obligation rematch that, um, clause that was put in the contract. They're currently negotiating, um, you know, split percentages, location of the fight, and the date of the fight. But that should be announced pretty soon. Um, in the coming weeks. So the winner of that fight, no doubt, will be uh, somebody that the winner of Fury Wilder 2, if it goes down like that, will surely have to keep in the back of their mind. But, you know, last week, Wilder made two huge announcements. And, you know, it was a rematch with Luis Ortiz in September, the likely date, and a rematch with um, Tyson Fury in 2020. But, People had a lot of skepticism due to the fact that the normally loud, boisterous, outspoken Tyson Fury didn't quickly um, confirm or start trash-talking um, Deontay Wilder. And that is with great understanding. But you also got to remember this. Uh, Fury is in the process of finishing up camp for um, his fight with Tom Schwartz that's taking place in Las Vegas, Nevada. It will be aired on ESPN. So he needs to continue to focus in on that because, as we've seen, upsets can happen and upsets will happen. This is the heavyweight division, and all it takes is one punch to change the whole landscape of the division and the whole landscape of a fighter's career. Just ask Anthony Joshua, the most recent example. So, that is understood why um, Tyson Fury didn't come out and say anything in, in terms of a confirmation about the news that Wilder announced um, during Joshua Ruiz fight week. And then, you know, people saying, okay, I understand him. He's training for a fight, blase, blase. But what about Bob Arum? That's the co-promoter, along with Frank Warren of Tyson Fury. He didn't say anything. But 
that all has changed. Um, in an exclusive um, interview he did with World Boxing News .net, Bob Arum indeed not only confirmed that the rematch is on, but he also said that a trilogy fight um, is possible with the winner of the second fight getting the higher percent. And he also said a fourth fight could be possible. I'm going to read some of his quotes um, regarding Wilder Fury 2. Wilder vs. Fury 2 is going to happen. It will be a terrific fight. The first fight was terrific. The, fu the This fight will be even better. But no jumping. Anything can happen to Fury, although I don't think it will. That happened to Anthony Joshua. He's talking about the upset that we all witnessed last week. Um, you know, he also went to say this. There are a lot of good heavyweights who um, had trilogies, and this was a response to him being asked um, whether three bouts were on the cards for Wilder and Fury. And he said, yes, I can assure you, uh, assure you of yes. Um, then he said, um, going further, this percentage will change as in the winner would get more of that third fight than the loser. It's all based on who wins the second fight. So, I mean, that is what it is. That is um, shocking to me in terms of them coming out to agree to two fights, potentially uh, three more fights. Um, but this is the boxing business. They're huddled together. Maybe they're trying to freeze out Eddie Hearn and Anthony Joshua. Uh, but Anthony Joshua did that himself. Or let me say, Andy Ruiz did that to Anthony Joshua when he pulled off that upset. So um, right now, the top two heavyweights in the world, however you got them ranked, one or two, um, Fury Wilder, Wilder Fury, are Deontay Wilder, Tyson Fury. And it seems like they are um, are locked up for the foreseeable future. And if these two guys do fight two more times, the winner, if it if it happens, and it, you know whoever it may be, um, the lock and change between now and then, the winner would be set up to face uh, Anthony Joshua, assuming that he uh, regains his titles back from Anthony Ruiz. And if he doesn't, Andy Ruiz, assuming that he's still the champion um, by late 2020, we can have an undisputed uh, heavyweight title class. So. It's a lot of moving parts. There's a lot of uh, things going on. Um, more parts are moving thanks to Andy Ruiz. So it's a four-man race at this point. And you got to throw in Luis Ortiz as well because he can easily go in there and outbox and knock out Wilder um, if Wilder is not uh, on his P's and Q's and clicking on all cylinders. But um, we got to keep our fingers crossed and hope that we don't have any more slip-ups on the road to undisputed, on the road to mega fights in the heavyweight division. And we just got to wait and see how everything plays out, man. Um, because, again, this is boxing, and all it takes is one punch. One punch, and you can be on the canvas like Joshua. But if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Make sure you drop those comments in the comment section down below, giving me your thoughts on this. Do you like it or love it or hate it, the news that... Um, not only a rematch is taking place between Deontay Wilder and Tyson Fury, but two more fights can be on tap between these two men. Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoy the content throughout the channel, please hit that subscribe button and turn on those notifications to be notified every time I upload content. Share these videos all over social media. Until next time, I am out. Peace.